Imagine a world where machines think, learn, and adapt just like humans. That's the fascinating realm of artificial intelligence, AI. From helping us navigate the internet to driving cars, AI is everywhere, quietly making our lives easier and more efficient. But how did it all begin? Join us as we uncover the story behind AI's evolution, from its early days of dreaming to its current status as a game-changer in technology. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting AI adventures. The term artificial intelligence AI, wasn't coined until the mid-20th century, but the idea of building intelligent systems has fascinated human beings for thousands of years. It's a concept that predates the Industrial Revolution and the invention of the first digital computer. It's also been a frequent source of inspiration for creators of fantasy and science fiction. Since it was formally defined in the 1950s, the field of AI has seen many ups and downs, excitements and disappointments, breakthroughs and stalemates. In the last few decades AI has made significant advances, but it has also failed to fulfill many of its early promises, so far, at least. What we have seen is the creation of AI systems that have changed the way we think about human intelligence, and taught us newfound appreciation for its sophistication and complexity. In this video, we will outline a brief history of AI, consider its key achievements, and also look at some of the lessons that have been learned along the way. Early History from ancient mythologies to 19th century science fiction. Engineers, artists, and scientists have always played with the idea of creating a non-human form of intelligence. Ancient Greek mythology describes a giant bronze robot called Talos, who guarded the island of Crete by throwing stones at pirates and invaders. More than 2,000 years later, we find the same theme in Mary Shelley's novel, Frankenstein, where a young scientist sets out to create his own sentient beings. In cinema, we have been introduced to intelligent autonomous systems like HAL 9000 and Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey and Jarvis, just a rather very intelligent system, the AI personal assistant of Iron Man and the Marvel series of Avengers movies. Creators of literature and film have always turned to contemporary scientific advances as fuel for their ideas. We imagine all sorts of fantasies for ourselves about the possibility for artificially intelligent entities, but these fantasies always have something to say about the current state of scientific progress and what we think might be genuinely possible. Almost every civilization has tried to build human-like self-operating machines at some point in its history, however crude some of those attempts might have been. In the year 1206, at the height of the Islamic Golden Age, Ismail al-Jazari built a musical robot and authored the Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. The book describes 100 mechanical devices, along with instructions on how to use them. In the late 18th century, the Turk was presented as an autonomous chess-playing machine that could beat any human player. It was a con, a chess grandmaster was always hidden inside it and making all of the moves, but the illusion succeeded because it was built on the exciting idea that a machine might be able to play a logical game against us, and win. Aristotle is typically considered the first logician in Western culture, and over the following centuries his ideas were developed by many others, including Euclid, father of geometry, and Al-Khwarizmi whose name is the source of the word algorithm, which is the cornerstone of computer science. By the 17th century, various machines were being developed in an effort to automate the calculation of large numbers in a quicker, more reliable way than humans could manage. In 1837, Charles Babbage designed the analytical engine, the first general-purpose computer which contained many of the conceptual elements still seen in today's computers. It had a computer program, data, and arithmetic operations, all recorded on punch cards. A short time later, Ada Lovelace published the first computer algorithm, basically the first software, for this hypothetical machine. However, it wasn't until the first half of the 20th century that enough progress was made in the fields of formal logic and computer science to make the first digital computers possible in the 1940s. It's this crucial development that paves the way for AI to emerge as a new discipline in the 1950s. 
The Foundation of AI The inception of the field in the middle of the 20th century With the invention of the digital computer in the mid-20th century, scientists started to ask whether computers would be able to go beyond simply performing computations and executing hard-coded instructions. In other words, could this machine demonstrate intelligence? Could it think like a human? This question opened up a range of philosophical inquiries because the definition of human intelligence might include difficult concepts, like consciousness. Alan Turing, the founder of modern computer science, proposed a method to measure machine intelligence. In his seminal work, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Turing reformulated the question of can a machine think, to ask whether a machine could exhibit human intelligence through its behavior and imitate the ability to think. The term artificial intelligence was first used by John McCarthy at the 1956 Dartmouth Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence, also known simply as the Dartmouth Workshop. The Dartmouth Workshop is considered to be the founding event in the history of AI. Many concepts that are still in use today, such as neural networks and natural language processing were debated at that conference. The First Years of AI Chess checkers, and the enthusiasm of the 1950s and 1960s. The intellectual formation of AI as its own field of study soon started to produce significant advances. Many of the early computer programs that could play games, solve puzzles, prove mathematical theorems, and perform artificial reasoning were developed in the years immediately following the Dartmouth workshop. The concepts of machine learning and artificial neural networks, two of the main pillars of current AI systems, were also formalized around this time. Chess playing ability has always had a close association with the idea of intelligence. In 1950, Claude Shannon, the founder of information theory, described the first computer program that was able to play chess. Around the same time, Arthur Samuel, an American engineer at IBM, wrote the first computer program that was able to play checkers by learning and adapting its strategy. It was good enough to challenge amateur players and was a great success for Samuel and his employer. Samuel is also known for coining the term machine learning. The late 1950s and early 1960s also saw the development of artificial neural networks in learning and pattern recognition. Perhaps the best example of the work done in this area is Frank Rosenblatt's perceptron algorithm, which was able to recognize images and learn the difference between geometric shapes. These exciting inventions and breakthroughs in the middle of the 20th century created huge enthusiasm for AI as an emerging field of study. At the time, these early achievements were so impressive they seemed scarcely believable. Shortly afterwards, AI laboratories started to appear all over the world thanks to generous funding from governments and corporations. The AI Winter Inflated Expectations and Stagnation of the 1970s and 1980s The early achievements of AI in the 1950s and 1960s resulted in a wave of overconfidence and unrealistic expectations prominent figures in the field of AI were understandably excited by what they'd already seen and expected similarly impressive breakthroughs to continue at the same rate. Why were expectations so unreasonably high when it came to the potential of AI? First of all, the early success of AI with toy problems gave engineers the wrong impression of its capabilities. It was generally thought that scaling AI up to tackle more general problems was simply a matter of provisioning larger memory and greater computational resources. Too much focus was placed on the potential of AI, and not enough thought was given to the underappreciated complexity of many problems. Japan's fifth-generation computer systems was one such initiative to come out of this period. Its goal was to build powerful computer systems capable of finally realizing the early promise of the 1950s and 1960s, and it continued until 1990. Unfortunately it largely failed in its ambitions, and another period of hype and unrealistic expectations ended in disappointment. The Rebirth The resurgence of machine learning and neural networks in the late 1980s and 1990s the limitations of classical AI, with its rules-based approaches and symbolic reasoning, 
led to a shift in focus in the late 1980s. A better understanding of human intelligence and the complexity involved in decision-making encouraged AI experts to look more closely at learning-based and probabilistic approaches. Humans acquire intelligence by following instructions and performing deductive reasoning, but they also learn through experience and the repetition of trial and error. Why shouldn't the same be true for intelligent machines? This is the question AI engineers started to ask themselves, and soon machines were no longer being limited to formal reasoning. Instead, they began to be equipped with the capabilities needed to learn via examples. Machine learning, a term already coined by Arthur Samuel decades earlier, was back in a big way. This new paradigm, beginning in the late 1980s, would use statistics and probabilities to enable machines to learn from available data and adapt by building on previous experiences. Soon, AI was connecting with other mature and rigorous disciplines like decision theory, statistics, control theory and optimization. This led to major advances in the fields of speech recognition, natural language processing, robotics, and computer vision. It was a fresh approach that yielded a new wave of impressive results, as well as a better theoretical understanding of some core concepts in AI. The Revolution Big Data and Deep Learning of the 21st Century The creation of the World Wide Web and the development of the telecommunications sector facilitated the transmission and storage of data at scale during the 2000s. These developments gave neural networks and deep learning algorithms the fuel they needed to start making significant advances, big data. The current hype surrounding AI is largely attributable to the unprecedented advances in deep learning that have been made possible by big data, and machines are now outperforming humans at complex tasks with increasing regularity. Perhaps the best example is the AlphaGo computer program, developed by the AI company DeepMind. Go is an infinitely more complicated game than chess, yet this program was able to learn the game from scratch and within months beat world champion Lee Seedall in 2016. Going from Arthur Samuel's basic checkers algorithm to Deep Blue defeating Kasparov took 40 years. From that point to AlphaGo emerging victorious took roughly half that time. The relatively short history of AI has valuable lessons to teach us about controlling hype and managing unrealistic expectations. We need to channel our enthusiasm for this fascinating technology in ways that will produce continuous advances, rather than developmental winters and summers. In conclusion, the evolution of artificial intelligence AI, from its early conceptualizations to its current transformative impact on technology showcases humanity's relentless pursuit of innovation. As we navigate the intricacies of AI's history, achievements, and challenges, it becomes evident that responsible development and ethical considerations are paramount. Don't miss out on the latest insights and updates, subscribe to our channel for more compelling AI content and stay tuned for exciting developments in this dynamic field.